what will begin to happen is I see you working with youth um, in their, you know, being incorporated. I see all of you coming to pass, but one of the things is, is that you're your own worst enemy. You're your own worst enemy. And there's some things that are deep-rooted that you're going to have to let God pull out that maybe have taken place far back. I don't know that you still bring, it's like it doesn't go away. There's something that's not going away from you that you can't let go of. Or I see you're holding on to something. Before you can go forward, you know, obviously you can't look in the past, but God wants to sever those ties. I don't know if there's somebody you're tied to or something. You know, are you tied to anybody? Family members? Somebody. There's something. Maybe it was a traumatic event, something that took place when you were young. That maybe you haven't spoken about, and I'm really talking about it here, but I'm going to tell you, you're going to have to allow, that's what it is, and God's going to have to get a hold of that thing that happened then. And you're going to have to allow God to uproot that thing that took place, amen? Look at me now. Look at me. God loves you so much that he is going to hand you over into the ministry of God, into the ministry of reconciliation, where the things that you've gone through, if you allow God to heal you there, you're going to bring healing to a lot of young girls, amen? There's a lot of young girls, and I see, I see some other stuff, too. Some confusion. Some confusion. There's some confusion that you fought with in yourself. You're trying to find out who you are and your identity. And God's saying that you find out who you are in me. While you're here, don't look at a building. Don't look at an organization. Don't look at people. Look to God. Look to what God is saying. The Bible says to put your cast affections on things above and not below. What happens is the enemy tries to tempt you and to pull you. Look at this and look at them and look at all. And you know what? This is whack. I'm out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. I just want to leave. And this isn't for me. You don't understand. I'm not like you people. But God says that you're more like those people that you see. Tell me, God. Three weeks. Three months? Some of this making sense? Put your hand up for me. Hallelujah. What's your name? Gabriel. Gabriel. you would anoint her, Lord. Father, even right now, Lord, that you love her so much, God, I pray, Father, you brought her here, Lord. You have sisters around her, Lord. I pray, Father, by the unction of the Holy Spirit, God, Father, that you would give her the healing that she needs, Lord. Father, while she's here, Lord, I pray right now, Lord, that, Father, you would fill her up with the anointing of the Holy Spirit while she's here, God. That, Father, that these gifts, these gifts have been given without repentance, these gifts that you've given her are irrevocable. You won't take them back, God. What she was using for the world, God, I pray that you would turn it in her life, God, and that she would use it to give you all glory, God, that she would know, Father, those things that have taken place in the past are old news, Father. You've come to make all things new, I pray. Tonight, God, this will be the newness of the Lord upon her, God. This will be the newness upon her in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. I speak healing. I speak healing to her heart. I pray that you would sever those unrighteous vows and unrighteous soul ties in the name of Jesus, God. I thank you for it right now. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 after God. You love the Lord. You really do. And, and I believe that this, this, the stumble and the step, it wasn't big stumbles. It was these little things that kept coming up. And then you 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 have family members. You have people that are watching. You have things, people that are around you uh, that are waiting on you. You don't even realize that you have 
uh, nephews, cousins, people in your family that are around you, that are waiting on you. And, oh, hallelujah. Yeah. I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. He's going to use you before you leave here. That, that your family's going to look at you with new eyes and a new perception. And then they're going to, God's going to use you to go back to your family. You're going to be able to reach some people that you haven't been able to reach. Maybe even some sons and daughters. I don't know. You may have some children that are still waiting on the, on the bus. But, but I know that there's some, I know what I know what I know. All those years of suffering that you went through. Ah, you want to know some stuff. Prison. Prison. Yeah. God's going to move He's going to filter out the way. It's not far. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Give it to him right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Yeah! yeah. the one thing that's holding me back. Sometimes knowledge can be just as bad because of this, the thing that you've experienced in the places that even the enemy is taking you. Kind of like when he took Jesus upon the pinnacle and he says, you look out and see everything. If you bow down to me, I'll give it all to you. And you've had a lot of things in your life. You've had a lot of things in your life. You need less of it. You need to your hands. Hallelujah. But this day, you let the scripture be fulfilled in your life. Listen to me. I'll talk to you. You back out of here. You need to do it once. You need to go. You need to go. You need to go. You need to change this. You can't go back out there. You can't go back out there because you didn't get it. No, this is the last rope you're going to Watch what I say. I'm going to tell you. If I can bring up some of the people, some of the lies. 